Hello everyone, welcome to IELTS Energy TV. I am your IELTS teacher, Jessica Beck, and today I'm going to answer the question, should you learn sample answers for the IELTS speaking test? All right, guys, I want to remind you quickly to take our free IELTS quiz and get some resources I made for you. Go to allearsenglish.com slash IELTS quiz. Okay, so today's video is inspired by a question from a subscriber, Asad Oropov. Thank you for commenting on another video. You asked if you should use sample answers on the speaking test that you get from books and apps and websites. So I I know you are asking about a very specific IELTS app that is uh, becoming more popular. So, okay, how should you use these? Are these good to use? First, just a long story short, no, do not use that whole sample answer on your test. It's not yours. Do not memorize sample answers, okay? Do not copy them word for word on your own IELTS test. Now, I was an examiner for 14 years, okay? I can tell immediately if this answer you're giving me is yours or not, okay? Now, I've talked recently about how important it is to be native and natural on your speaking test if you're going to get a seven or higher. So, those answers are native, sure, they're native, but they're not natural to you, okay? They're not about you, they're, they don't reflect your life, your country, your culture, your experience, and as an examiner, I can tell. Now, why is that bad? How does that affect your score? It affects your fluency and coherence score directly. Okay, band eight, fluency and coherence, means that you can talk about topics appropriately, okay, that you can speak naturally about these topics. If you're giving an answer that's not yours, it's not appropriate to you, okay? And we can tell it does affect your fluency and coherence score. Um, now, it affects your vocabulary score because, again, this is not your experience. This is not your vocab. So it becomes difficult to paraphrase. You can't talk about these things in your own words because you're just memorizing someone else's words. And this also means that you are not flexible with your vocabulary. Okay. This also affects your pronunciation. If you're just memorizing something and rattling it off, again, it's not natural. It's obvious that it's uh, weird and it does affect your pronunciation. Not natural, not native. Okay. So how should you use sample answers? I think model answers are fantastic for you to see what is possible, for you to see how you can bring in your own life examples. You can learn great vocab. If it applies to you, learn it, practice using it. You can copy the pronunciation and practice having natural intonation and varying your pronunciation, okay? But you're not gonna copy that, sent that answer word for word on your own test, okay? So certainly use it, use sample answers, they're great practice. Learn from them, but don't learn them word for word, okay? You still need to show your ability to be natural and spontaneous on the speaking test if you're going to get a seven or higher. Okay, I hope this explanation helped. I hope that answer helps you, Asad Oropov. Thank you for commenting. Guys, if you have any IELTS questions, make sure to ask me in the comments below. And remember, take our short IELTS quiz. It's free. Get a free estimated band score and resources I made just for you. Go to allearsenglish.com slash IELTS quiz. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bonus tip, get a seven or higher with the All Ears English app featuring real-time transcripts and vocabulary practice that will push your score higher. Plus, fun video lessons with Lindsay, Michelle, and Jessica. Download the app today at allearsenglish.com app.